Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today is a technique video and it will be used in the Llama No Drama series. This is called an adjustable ring. It's also called a magic loop or a magic circle. So what we have here is that it's a technique that allows anything that starts off in the center to be absolutely tight so that there's no holes. You can use this kind of technique in the top of a hat just in case that when you go to chain a certain amount and go around the chain it may leave an extra hole. So a magic circle eliminates that. So some people opt to do that. So what you need for a magic circle definitely for sure is a tapestry needle and obviously your yarn that you wanna work with. So it's a really neat idea and I'm gonna show you this. So on camera here is a finished magic ring and the center of it is permanently attached. It will never come out. It will not open up anymore. So let's take our time and here's the yarn strand and I want you to lay down your hand and lay down two fingers like this and pull the yarn in front like this. And I'll wait a second. So this is what it will look like for you. So make sure you give yourself a little bit of an extra long tail because we're gonna have to secure that in with the tapestry needle. Okay, so just put me on hold if you need to do it. So now what you wanna do is just kinda use your other finger, your thumb here and just pinch and rotate your hand over and then grab the yarn that is leading to the yarn ball around and cross over one time like this. And what I like to do is just sandwich it in between a finger so I can see it. So it looks like it's crossed over top of your hand like this. It's in the front, two fingers. Rotate your hand over and take the yarn strand leading to the ball and just rotate it up and over and cross it over and then just use another finger so that it stays crossed. Just hold there if you need to hold. Now you're gonna take your, your, your hook and you're going to go up underneath the first one. So up underneath the first one and grab the second one and pull through. Noticing that I'm not letting go of anything in this hand. And all I wanna do is just with my other hand, this one here, is this I wanna slide it up and I wanna pinch so that these two strands are together like so. And to lock this ring, you just need to chain one. So when you crochet, you wanna crochet up over these two strands because that's what's gonna pull it shut. So in the case for the llama, it may say to chain, uh, do um, six single crochets in the magic ring. So all you're just gonna do is inside the magic ring, just start inside the ring and just count six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. It's a little fiddly at first once you get used to this. And six. So before I pull it shut, I wanna count and verify there's six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that it's shut, this yarn strand right here leading to the end of the ball, just pull it. And that will pull the ring completely shut. Now, in the case of the llama or anything else, I wanna pull up a loop on the here and get rid of that. And I wanna turn this over and I wanna secure the ending here with the tapestry needle. And all I'm just going to do with the tapestry needle, you have to do this because if you do not, it will burst open. So I see people complaining online that they don't do that or they don't know to do that and then it bursts open and etc. So I've got it now into a tapestry needle and I just wanna weave it through the back side of this. So just go one and the first time pull tight and then go back in the other direction. You want it nice and tight. It's two and then one more in the other direction for three. Just like that. So now that it's in, I can just trim it and then I can put this back onto the hook and begin. So in the case of the llama, we're gonna go in a continuous circle. So if you're not sure, just count it back from the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So in the case of the llama, this will be your first stitch. So the very first time that you're doing it, when you do the first one, just make sure that you pull it nice and tight, get everything retightened back into your hands and then crochet. 
that's normal. So and if you had it like a hat you could have slip stitched to that stitch as well. Just make sure the very first time you're going in there that you pull everything nice and tight. So it's gonna be really tight right in the very beginning. But this is be how you create a magic ring like so. So this is how you do an adjustable ring or a magic ring like so.